Christ, my camera is just all kinds of terrible. All right. The crab incident. Another, like, cheaply made SpongeBob horror game. I guess for this, I'll turn off the lights, even though it's night out. Oh, wait, the, the lights from my PC. Man. Oh, that's a bit loud. Apparently Omegle's no more. Oh, I, I, oh like it, the site is gone? Omegle? Oh shit, really? Yeah, it is gone. Dear strangers, for the moment I discovered the internet at a young age has been a magical place to me. Growing up in a small town relatively isolated from the larger world, it was a revolution Revelation how much more there was to discover, how many interesting people and ideas the world had to offer. How long is this? Jesus. In short, the internet opened the door to a much larger, more diverse, and more vibrant world than I have ever always been able to experience. It will need to be an active participant in it as contributed to the world. I just want to go over as a survivor of the ch child about uh, rape. Jesus. I was acutely aware of that at a time I interacted with people in the physical world, I was risking my physical body. The internet gave me refuge from that fear. I was under no illusion that only good people use the internet, but I only knew that if I said no to someone online, they couldn't physically reach me through the screen. Yeah, I just seen the... Um, NPR, screw it. A mega random video chat site that began with the I idea of connecting strangers, but on that side, it's long accused of enabling sexual predators, has ceased operations, according to its founder, Leif K. Brooks. In a lengthy farewell message, K. Brooks said the website he founded in 2009 aspired to a platonic idea of allowing people to share ideas and form new relationships. He's also admitted that his creation has a darker side. There can be no honest accounting of a mega without acknowledging that some people misused it, including to commit unspeakably heinous crimes. Those crimes resulted in numerous claims against a mega. In one high profile case, a young woman sued the website in 2021, accusing it of matching her in a chat when she was 11 years old to a man who sexually exploited her. The woman identified only as AEM saw $22 million in damages in a lawsuit. Mega was shut down days after two sides agreed to settle the lawsuit. Message to Mega K. Brooks and his attorneys were not returned before it was republished. When contacted by NPR, the woman's attorney, Kerry Goldberg, declined to offer a response, saying the legal team would let the shutdown speak for itself. Who names her, names her kid Leaf? I have no idea. <laughs> Family ago, as an 18, I was living with his parents in Vermont. Legal challenges invoking free speech immunity conferred with Section 230 of the Communications Decency Act. Oh, but damn, okay, and Megal's gone now. It's fighting too many bullets to detect crimes or prevent potential abusers and to keep his website online in the face of critics who said he features anonymity. Operating Omega is no longer sustainable financially nor psychologically. Frankly, I don't want to have a heart attack in my 30s. The only way to please these people is to stop offering the service. Damn. R.I.P. to Omega. I wonder what those people actually. There's 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 other websites that people can use 
But I'm thinking about those YouTubers who make like Omega videos. What are they gonna do now? Now where will I see random men fapping live? I mean, again, there's other websites. Also, that's what I use when I when I first started streaming and I did um, like random queue ups with people on, on cam. I used a different website compared to a Mekel. So the other, there's always other other websites. Monkey app, I've never heard of that one. Okay, but back to the main point at hand, which this uh, SpongeBob horror game. Made by Sirius Daniel. It's a big day, Mr. Crab invited you to his party. You'll probably will get a promotion. You'll never find your Omega girlfriend again damn chapter close oh yeah my omega girlfriend that i definitely remember having lost forever dude the sensitivity on this thing is big okay i can run what is that She said, I'd fuck with that. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. You okay, Mr. Crab? You look kind of... Look... Off. Burgers. Some nice AI generated photos. Cool. So I just go to this house and just eat the burgers. Yeah, one thing that's always confused me is that Mr. Krabs has a daughter who's like a beluga whale. How does a crab have a whale as a daughter? Oh my god, Spongebob. Do you think he's dead? Because Mr. Krabs is a slut? Yeah, maybe. Mr. Krabs. I mean, I knew, I knew it was gonna happen. There's no point like running. Ah, oh, goddamn! It's one of these, dude, man. Th this is this is just like the last SpongeBob game I played. But like, um, you enter the Goofy Goober restaurant, and he throws you into like a basement. You have to, like run away. I hate games like these, man. I can't do horror games where I'm being chased, man. I just can't do it. I 
I'm not sure what that opened. I'm just... I didn't come up with the ending, lol. Get back to work. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> nice. I thought it was gonna be like a whole thing where I have to like press a button and then like find a key or something. I can't do horror games like that. It stresses me out. All right, and he's doing some uh, programming. Nice. Public int file. Break return result. Yeah, th this reminds me a lot of college and how much I fucking hated programming. Find the unlock pixel, there's secrets? I don't think so. There's no ending, so I just gotta I'm pretty sure that was the only thing, man. It's a big day, Mr. Crab. Unless that unless that, that vault that was going down leads somewhere. Doors on open. Yeah, there's nothing. I already beat the game. That was a good game. That's game of the year right there. 11 out of 10.